Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy, the largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and answer the question, you know, choosing the right RV to live full-time and how to prep one for full-time. Okay, so let me go ahead and get into this. Now, first in the outset, I'm not a full-time RVer, but I do live in an RV park, so I'm a full-time RV parker, okay? Um, because I still have a job, I don't live in an RV. Um, but I can tell you, being around enough RVs um, and living in this lifestyle, there's some things that I would look at when it comes to purchasing you know, an RV to live in full-time. Now, in here, let's go ahead and start this. RVs, they are not designed to be lived in full-time. I mean, that's the whole caveat that we have in the RV industry, okay? We, we don't have codes that we really follow. I mean, we do follow the NFPA, but there's no regulations because these things are not full-time and they're not technically connected to the whole grid, okay? RVs by themselves, as a caveat, are not really designed to be lived in full-time, but we know that there's over 2 million of you that still live in them full-time. So are all RVs, you know, not capable of it? Not necessarily. That's not true. Some of them are. But here are some considerations. First and foremost, okay, I would look at if you want to insure that. I can tell you not all insurance companies will um, insure an RV if they know you live in it full-time. Now, I would also recommend being a former insurance agent, okay? Don't lie to them, don't hold that, don't withhold that knowledge. When you do that, and if the insurance company, if you have a claim, let's say you're living it full-time, you have a claim, and then the insurance company does a proper investigation and finds out that you're living in it full-time, if they have verbiage on the contract that says they will not cover full-time living, even though you may get a cheap rate, they're not gonna pay for it and justifiable, okay? You gotta reveal that information. So you gotta find the right companies that will pay for full-time living, okay? That will pay for it should there be a claim. Yes, you may have to pay more, but you want a policy that you're paying for that will actually pay back should there be an occurrence. Buying another policy, purchasing a policy at a cheaper rate, and then finding out they're not going to pay out, well, then you end up spending more money in the first place. All right, number two, what are we looking for? You would pr probably want to look for a, an, an RV, if you're going to live in it full time, that is what we call four season, three season, something about having that belly board, you know, some type of insulation between the, su uh, the subfloor and, of course, outside, okay? Because it depends on where you're at, right? If you're living in it full time and you're in California and it's 72 degrees, all year round, well sure, then you can probably go with an RV that doesn't have the three season or four season um, capabilities because it's parked. But for many of you, you live in full time and you may travel. Most of us, we may live somewhere and have more than one season, right? So you wanna look for something three season or four season capable. You know, can it survive the harsh winters? Do you have enough air conditioning to survive harsh summers? Okay, now all RVs, they are again, really built for temporary use, okay? So honestly, when we're looking at stuff, it's all the same air conditioners, you know, same appliances, you know, there's several brands, but they're all the same. So now you wanna look at maybe the quality of the build. I'm not gonna get into names uh, of brands of RVs, but yeah, you wanna start looking at that. Do you want single pane windows or do you want double pane windows because Having that second pane of windows um, is going to really directly affect the heat coming in or the cold coming in, one of the two, right? Depending on the season, you know? Uh, how many windows and where you're putting it? So there's some things that you can do. And again, it has to do with weather, right? Now, all of these, even full-time living guys, all have tires. And for full-time living, if you're prepping, you still have to take care of that suspension. The worst thing that we could do with tires is, you know, have them just sit there, right? They will wear out if they don't move. So if you're going to look at preparation for full time, hey, from time to time, you need to move that RV, right? Exercise those wheels, shift that weight. You know, you can do some prep work, you know, maybe put some wood um, under uh, between your uh, tires and the ground or whatnot, because we're gonna have some different effects, whether it be on concrete or dirt, 
that really affects the wear and tear of those tires, okay? But it's all weather related and we covered those things before. But what I would suggest is if, if we're just looking at, you know, full-time living, get one that's capable of handling three or four seasons and then finding a, a proper insurance company uh, to take care of that. And then you make adjustments to that RV, again, around weather. You know, whether we put some type of blockage in the windows to block the, um, the radiant sun coming in, losing um, uh, heat based because it's so cold outside. Also, the RVs have wheels, properly move it if you live in full time and chase that 72 degree weather, okay? Now, if you're looking at brands, I'm not gonna do that. This is only two minutes, but two, right? Everyone has their own opinion on brands and there's things that you can do whenever you buy those to make them better. So there's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, Go ahead and click the link below, or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're out there in the video, roll the bloopers. You know, how to pre <laughs> how to talk. Today on today's Todd's Tech T Tip Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs>